Good morning, everybody. Had a little bit of technical difficulty this morning. Um, for some reason, Facebook was not working really well on the iPad, but it is Wednesday, and that means it's Stitch and Bitch Day, but I have a bunch of stuff to go over with you and show you um, some Christmas uh, holiday beach panels and patterns. We've got Ravenclaw for Halloween, and we have some very, very pretty pre-cut batiks that are super cool and they've been selling so I don't have as many as I originally had when they came in so let's start with um, Holiday Beach comes with two free patterns there's two different panels this first one is um, the block the uh, square panel not the full panel so it's showing um, all the different blocks and these are pieced trees so they're super super easy all it is is like um, uh, a trapezoid or a mini good morning Kathy a mini um, flying geese some of them is the full flying geese on the top see the top part of it it's just done in four sections so three top sections for the tree and then the brown one on the bottom is for the trunk it's really really easy this looks like a lot of piecing and it is it's a fair amount of piecing but it's not difficult at all and that goes with this panel and I'll show you a close-up two of all of them I don't have all of the coordinates anymore because they've just been the first day they came in they've been selling but I do have a fair amount of them to do these quilts so we've got our sand snowmen we've got our penguin or seagull I don't know if there's a seagull or a penguin I'm thinking it's a seagull and our beach chair and flip-flops then we've got our season's greetings buckets I mean this fabric line is perfect for here and something that everybody loves is our flamingo and then we've got another snowman another little sign and then we've got Santa is fishing and the final one is a sailboat this line is really, really perfect for this area between our, um, our, uh, what do you call it? Uh, surfing Santas and the boat light shows at the holidays. I mean, it really is perfect for this area. All right, the other panel and pattern we have includes the full panel how cute is that and I don't know if you can see can you see up close see he's wearing a flamingo floaty this one is adorable so we're gonna show you this one okay you ready Whoop. hold on Need a little bit more cord here we go how cool is he let me show you a little bit of a close-up so we'll start with our seagull and the sign and Santa's wearing some cool shades and his floaty and we got a penguin you got a sailboat in the back you even have a lobster and starfish and shells isn't that cool and of course Christmas palm tree with our little Christmas um, well I guess you could call them coconuts or Christmas balls so I really like that one I do have enough coordinates I believe to do most of these of course the flamingos with the lights are already gone but we still have some surfing Santas and all the other fabrics okay next let's change gears next we're gonna do pre-cut batiks that came in and I have more batiks coming in um, by the bolt some Christmas ones and some more swirls and some more paisleys and all different colors so I'll let you know when that's coming in I will post pictures as soon as I get a better idea on when it's coming in okay this is by Island Batik and this one's called Freedom 
So you've got a layer cake with all these wonderful red, white, and blue prints. And the white has some bright white, but it also has some neutrals in it. And then we have it in a jelly roll. Check out all those stars. Are they cool? This one I really, really like. It's called Petal Pusher. And it's a jelly roll. Look at all those wonderful, bright, fun colors. Morning, Yvette. Aren't they pretty? So they're going from teals and pinks and lime greens and purples. I love those colors. Then we got a bunch of more layer cakes. And I have two here that kind of look the same, but they're not. They've got different colors. Um, this one is called Seedlings. And it has um, foresty kind of feel to it. So a lot of the prints have like pine needles and they're, they've got some dots, but it's more um, plant related. But it goes from this very dark teal all the way through neutrals and greens. So see the greens and the neutrals and some blues and then this really, I don't know if you can see it, but this teal is really like one of my favorites. So this is a layer cake, which um, all of their layer cakes are 42 10 inch squares. Um, everybody asks me, what can you do with a layer cake? Well, one of my favorite things to do, and it's very, very fast, is to make um, disappearing nine patches. You can do six blocks if you add one more fabric um, in 10 inch squares very quickly and it's um, a twin size quilt just like that. If you did four blocks, it's almost a 50 by 50 quilt, which is a good, um, it could be a table topper or uh, a baby quilt or just a, a throw. Each block when you do a disappearing nine patch with 10 inch squares ends up finishing around 27 inches. So it goes very quickly, really, really quickly. Okay, here's the second one. This is called Sandbar. And this one is more um, ocean coral um, themed prints, but they kind of have the same coloring, but they're different prints. So it starts out with the navy blue teal, goes through lighter teals, it's got some neutrals, and then it goes into all of the greens. And see this nice like kind of corally look? There's all different fabrics in this one. So again, that one's called Sandbar. I think I have one of those left. Some of them I have two, some of them I have one. This one um, is called Sunny Side Up and it went really, really quick. I only have one left of these. These are all the yellow and blue um, batiks. And they have leaves, um, floral. It looks like we've got some, um, possibly some uh, sunflowers, just other flowers are in here. So really a fun colorway and this is actually a pretty popular colorway the blues and the yellows instead of blues and white and that one again is called sunny side up now my favorite absolute favorite of all of them this is called graphic gems and it is a little bit um, more on the modern side it's teals and um, whites and purples and the reason I say it's a little bit more on the modern is because and I'll show you one of the main fabrics in this line has um, cogs, um, kind of like, you know, steampunk. So they're, they're little cogs, which not so little, but they're really, really cute. I like it. So we'll go through the colors first. You've got like that kind of tealy blue. Morning, Linda. Um, it goes teal, blue, white, and then it goes into the purples. But can you see? Morning, Shirley. Can you see the cogs? on this print. How cool is that? And I don't know, can you see this one? I just think it's super cool. I mean, for a batik to have cogs, who knows? I mean, there's probably a lot of steampunkers out there. You'd be surprised if you've been to Disney and the chocolate uh, factory. That's kind of the feel, that steampunk look. But it's not overpowering or um, over extreme. I just like it. I like the colors. I like the design. Okay. Halloween. I don't buy a lot of Halloween fabric. Um, it has to be something really, really cool. 
I know, Linda, isn't it really cool? I like it too. I have, I think, two layer cakes left. Um, I don't buy a lot of Halloween. It has to be something that speaks to me because Halloween is not one of my favorite holidays and it's not a holiday that we tend to decorate for a lot. So um, the last big line that I brought in, as many of you know, was uh, Quilt Show in Salem and I absolutely loved it. That was which is that quilt so this is the next line that i brought in and i didn't bring in the whole line and i didn't even buy the pattern because quite honestly the pattern um i thought was quite simple and i thought we could do something ourselves and i'll show you what i mean okay um actually give me one second let me i'll be right back Sorry about that. I always forget something. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't forget something. Okay. So I didn't buy the pattern because like the um, quilt show in Salem quilt last year, um, it's real, the pattern was very, very simple. And I didn't think it, it, it warranted buying the pattern. So here it is. There's two different versions. One is just the panel with the Halloween on top, and that's not part of the panel. That is actually um, either appliqued or, like I'm going to show you, I have a fabric here that has Halloween written on it that we could probably use. And then it's just what, what I can look, what I see is, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, 24. So they're roughly four and a half inch uh, um, squares is what I can detect from you know looking at the size according to the panel of all different Halloween fabrics going all the way around now on the bigger version this part here and this part is just the border print fussy cutted so I really didn't think it was worth buying the pattern um, and I'm probably gonna do one of these up myself for the shop and the black in here, I did buy. That's a black damask, which I'm going to show you soon. It's really, really rich looking. Now, for the Halloween, the word on top, because the panel doesn't include that part, I have from a different line, these are quilting treasures, I have three different fabrics that I think will work very well. Even if we had to do two lines instead or, or cut one line, you can even put Happy Halloween. Um, but I know it's backwards, but it says happy and then, um, how do I show you? Halloween is on here. It's just a matter of figuring out how to cut it where, um, let's see if I can show you this part. Let's show it to you this way. So there's your Halloween. Now, if we put it, it is um, a little bit bigger than the panel, which is fine as far as the, the, the width, because they put a larger black border around the panel, which will accommodate the Halloween. So we can still use this and it still goes, the colors are still roughly in the same, um, same line, same hue, if you want to say. Let's see if I can show you another one. Here it is in a nice orange. Not a bright orange, not a tacky orange, not a crazy orange. Um, but when you put it up against the panel, it works really, really well. So this is probably what I'm going to use with a black... Um, border around the Halloween part but here is another option if and this one's much bigger but maybe we could put it down the side and kind of offset it all the way down instead of on the top 
let me open this so you can see this one's much bigger but it is um, again in the same colors and the same feel but I think it could be done I think there's a lot we can do without the pattern because like I said I just thought the pattern was very very simple see maybe this is the backing I think that would be a cool backing too all right on to the actual line all right I really really like this what a, who am I kidding I like it all but the reason I picked this one is because believe it or not bit not because of the raven but because of the Holoquin pumpkins so And now I'm going to show you a close-up. I can make some room. Okay. So, I really like this because it's not, it's not kiddish. So, any of us that don't have kids around all the time could actually make this as a quilt, you know, lap quilt or wall hanging and decorate for the holidays without it being, you know, the lime green, orange, and purple not that there's anything wrong with those but this is a little bit more i think on the adult side so we've got the cobwebs and spider on top more spiders and the raven cage with some bats and look at this really pretty i know Yvette, isn't it nice look at this kind of really pretty tone on tone damask and this is what i have in the black that's in the background and then you've got more ravens and check out the Holoquin pumpkins and the polka dots I mean who doesn't love polka dot pumpkins like really isn't that cool I really like this one I just thought it was cool okay so let's move on to the other fabrics in the line we'll start with the damask I mean, I don't think it's called a damask, but it reminds me of a damask. So this is a black on black, and it's got some cool crackle finish in the background, like old um, cracked paint or old wallpaper. So I think it works really, really well. And then I went and got both sets of pumpkins in the black. So this has all of the pumpkins. And in the orange. And then the final one is the border print. So this is what they're cutting up for the big part of the border. We've got the pumpkins, the raven, ravens, and um, spider webs. So, this border is the ravens, and this border is the pumpkins on top. So you wouldn't need a lot of this print. You'd need whatever the length is that you're looking for for your quilt, because you're going to get four repeats. And I can't see, if we figure it out real quick, 24, um, 32, <sighs> 32 and 6, 38. So this first raven border is only about at maximum 40 inches long so if we add that um, 40 42 43 and I think the pumpkin one is probably no bigger than 40 oh actually I'm sorry hold on wait a minute 44 46 I misspoke
Okay, the first one is probably about 55 inches long. Because I f forgot to take into consideration the panel. And this second one is probably going to be um, 60, maybe 65. So if you did two yards of the panel, I mean of the um, border print, I think you would be fine. But I'll get back to you and let you know and post it to Facebook because I'm definitely going to do this one. This is what I'm going to use as my decorations in the um, in the window for Halloween. So I'm going to do this up pretty soon and let you know. Morning, Susan. Um, and let you know exactly what you need because I think it's cute. Okay, today is Wednesday. It's Stitch and Bitch Day. So you know what that means. Come and sit and sew. Um, I have all the fabric you can pet. Anybody working on the retro gaming quilt and you need some help, today is your day. Um, if you're doing Hoop Sisters Mystery Quilt, also today is your day. So come on in and free classes so I can help you with whatever you need for that. Um, that's all I have for you today. Unless you have something for me, questions, um, comments, nothing. All right, people. Have a great day day and I will um, let you know on this Halloween quilt exactly how much you need as soon as I get it done which I'm probably going to do some measurements and some figuring out today. All right have a great day everybody.